The U.S. Navy has sailed the USS Green Bay through the Taiwan Strait on Friday. The move comes between heightened tension between the U.S. and China. Commander Rian Momsen, a spokesperson for the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet, said in a statement, USS Green Bay LPD-20 conducted a routine Taiwan Strait transit August 23, local time, in accordance with international law. Momsen stated, the ship's transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the U.S. commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. The U.S. Navy will continue to fly, sail, and operate anywhere international law allows. It's important to note that the USS Green Bay was scheduled to visit Hong Kong on August 17, but that had to be canceled since the Chinese government had rejected requests for port visits to Hong Kong. The canceled port visit was announced amid ongoing protests in Hong Kong. China has accused the U.S. of supporting the protest, though the U.S. has denied these claims. In this video, Defense Updates reports on USS Green Bay's transit through the Taiwan Strait. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The Taiwan Strait is part of the larger dispute of the South China Sea region. China claims most of the South China Sea. It says it has indisputable sovereignty over the area. Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan have disputed these claims. The route is significant as about $5 trillion in trade through shipping passes each year. Countries like the US, Japan and India have no claims in the area and want freedom of navigation as per international maritime laws. China has tried imposing a unilateral decision as per which all ships and aircraft navigating in the area need to identify themselves to the Chinese Navy. USS Green Bay is a San Antonio-class warship in the United States Navy. San Antonio-class is a class of amphibious transport docks, also called a Landing Platform Dock LPD. Green Bay's keel was laid down on the 11th of August 2003 at Northrop Grumman's Ingalls Shipyard in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Green Bay was christened on the 15th of July 2006 and commissioned on the 24th of January 2009. The ship's name has resulted in a close connection to the people of Green Bay, Wisconsin and their professional football team, the Green Bay Packers. The ship's flight deck is named Lambeau Field after the name of the Packers Stadium. USS Green Bay is currently in 7th Fleet. The San Antonio class was designed to provide the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps with a modern sea-based platform that's networked, survivable, and built to operate with 21st century transformational platforms, such as the MV-22 Osprey. USS Green Bay is capable of transporting U.S. Marines, amphibious vehicles, conventional landing craft, and rotary aircraft. This means it has the capabilities to support amphibious assault, special operations, or expeditionary warfare missions. USS Green Bay also provides a high-quality command and control capability and improved interoperability between U.S. forces and partners in the region. USS Green Bay is 684 feet long and 105 feet wide. It's powered by four Colt Peelstick 2.5 STC diesel engines, each producing 10,400 horsepower. The warship has three vehicle decks of 25,402 square feet and two cargo holds of 25,548 square feet. Accommodation is provided for two landing craft air cushion LCAC, 
700 troops and 14 assault amphibious vehicles AAV. Each LCAC is capable of carrying 60 ton payload. So these can shift even large assets like M1A2 Abrams main battle tank. The ship is mainly constructed from high grade steel. It has enhanced fragmentation and nuclear blast protection made possible by specially designed shock hardened structure. USS Green Bay is designed to be LO, low observable, and has features that reduce radar cross section. The ship has implemented automation and integration of systems that make it more efficient. USS Green Bay is packed with different kinds of sensors. The ship's enclosed main mast consists of two large eight sided structures. The mast houses the radar and communications components like antenna and has a hybrid frequency selective surface. The ship's radar's package consists of an ITT AN SPS 48E 3D air search radar operating at C and D band. Lockheed Martin's AN APQ 9B surface surveillance and tracking radar operating at I band, Raytheon's AN SPS 64V9 navigating radar operating at I band, and two Northrop Grumman Norden systems AN SPS 73 surface search radars operating at I band. San Antonio class is equipped with SSDS, Ship Self Defense System, developed by Raytheon for the U.S. Navy. SSDS integrates all the ship's weapon systems and sensors. USS Green Bay is equipped with two Bushmaster II 30 mm close in guns. The gun has a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute and an effective range of 3.1 miles or 5 kilometers. It has two rolling airframe missile launchers. RIM-116 rolling airframe missile RAM, is a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile. It has an operational range of 9 kilometers, that's 5.6 miles. There are two Mark 41 8-cell VLS for quad-packed ESSMs, RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missile ESSM, is used to protect ships from attacking missiles and aircraft. It has a range of 27 nautical miles or 50 kilometers. Several twin M2 Browning machine gun turrets are also present. The ship is equipped with an AN SLQ 25A Nixie towed decoy system and the Mark 53 Nulka decoy launching system. USS Green Bay also has Raytheon AN SLQ 32A V2 electronic support measures ESM system which can be used for electronic countermeasures against missile attack. USS Green Bay can launch or land up to two MV-22 Osprey simultaneously and can accommodate four of these on the flight deck and one in the hangar deck. The Osprey is an American multi-mission tilt-rotor military aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, and short takeoff and landing STOL capabilities. It's designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the long-range high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. It was designed after the failure of Operation Eagle Claw during the Iran hostage crisis in 1980, which underlined the requirement for a new long-range high-speed vertical takeoff aircraft. For takeoff and landing, it typically operates as a helicopter with the nacelles in vertical and rotors in horizontal position. Once airborne, the nacelles rotate forward 90 degrees in as little as 12 seconds for horizontal flight, converting the Osprey to a more fuel efficient, higher speed turboprop aircraft. STOL rolling takeoff and landing capability is achieved by having the nacelles tilted forward up to 45 degrees. It has an operational range of 1,100 nautical miles or 2,037 kilometers. The Osprey can be armed with one 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO M240 machine gun or 50 caliber M2 machine gun. It has a maximum speed of 275 knots, 
that's 509 kilometers per hour or 316 miles per hour at sea level and 305 knots that's 565 kilometers per hour or 351 miles per hour at 15,000 feet Osprey can accommodate 24 troops seated and 32 troops floor loaded so V-22 Osprey could be used to carry special ops personnel The US Navy routinely sails through the Taiwan Strait But Chinese military forces view the waterway separating China from Taiwan as a strategic area and often shadow US vessels navigating through it the transit of USS Green Bay has happened when the US and China have embroiled in a bitter trade war The timing also coincides with the Trump administration's recent approval of the sale of f-16s to Taiwan To know more on that click the video on the above card It's safe to say that the US China duel is heating up. Thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.